Well, this is nice. Yeah, but it's also nice to see all of us together. Yeah, this was feeling all a little too multicultural for me. <laughs> what? Because it's all black girls here, you feel more comfortable. You don't? Yeah, to be honest, I have to say no. I mean, back home, I never had to distinguish between my black friends or my white friends. It really wasn't an issue for me. Mm, but that was over in England. This is Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm from London. Like I said, England. Keisha, just because it's been one way doesn't mean it always has to be that way. That's right. Oh, so did the president do some kind of bailout on racism? I must have missed that press conference. I mean, come <laughs> on. I know racism isn't gone, but you have to try yeah. to live in the future sometimes. People change. And we're living in a time where we can see change happen. Mm. Now, Megan, she's from England. I understand her not getting it, but you're from Brooklyn, right? Um, I lived all over the place, and um, I've lived in LA, and I even lived in London. And I have friends of all kinds from all places, and I just come to a point in my life where it's just not about black and white for me. And I gotta be quite frank with you, I have been treated much worse by black folks than white. Okay. Where are you from? Montreal. Damn. Aren't they any of the real black people here? Well, I'm not African American, but I am black. <laughs> my father was born in South Carolina, and my mother was born in Canada. You know, maybe if my father would have stayed in America, I would feel more like you do, but he decided to stay in Canada, so my life was completely different. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, there's racism out there and some tough neighborhoods. I grew up near one. But the world, it's a huge place, girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, the American reality is not the reality for black people everywhere. That's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, here in Fort Greene, I'm always running into black people up in arms about gentrification. <sighs> You'd think black people are having their houses stolen from them. You mean you aren't upset to see the way the area is changing? Listen, if I was some old African-American family who purchased the house in the 80s or whatever, now they can sell that same house for maybe 10 times what they paid. I saw black families in Brixton send a whole generation of black kids and even grandkids mm. to good schools with that money. Yeah, I came to America because there's still more possibility here than in most places. Right. I mean, That's even true. in Canada. And don't get me wrong, it is exciting expensive out here and yes. you gotta hustle but as an immigrant i'm optimistic you know i mean look obama's more like us black immigrants than most african americans mm, i don't know about all that but if that's true thank god for michelle work because she's a real sister no um, doubt. at least we can agree on that i don't see how you can't be angry about us losing our neighborhoods they got fort green and clinton hill and they seem determined to get bed -Stuy. when i walk down decav avenue now i, I think i'm in park slope that doesn't bother you? Listen, it bothers me, but that's life. I absolutely love it here. Mm -hmm. Well, I got something, ladies, that I think we can all agree on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you are a real sister. Yeah. Okay. Knows the meaning of a union, of the feeling of confusion, and the feeding of the feuding of the mind and the body, the heart and the soul. It's out of control. I'm having one of those bad days again. I can't help it. I'm so damn selfish. I'm having one of those bad days again. I can't help it. I'm so damn selfish. I'm having one of those bad days again. I can't help it. I'm so damn selfish. I'm having one of those bad days again. I can't help it. I'm so damn selfish. Imperfections are expected. Don't mistake me. I know about ebbs and flows, highs and lows. I've been told to swallow my poison. Been poised to fall.